Hello everyone, my name is Ram. Today I'm going to make this drawing on AutoCAD. We'll make the all the dimension and roughly uh, the exact uh, measurement. So let's start. We'll, we're gonna use uh, AutoCAD 2020. So this is the AutoCAD, and as you can see, that our workspace we comes customized it to black, and our cursor we make it one hundred percent. So you may also customize it yourself. So just right click on the working space option, and from the option menu, you need to go to display and then colors. So the color make it purely black, and then. Uh, uh, purely black uh, once you select it and then on the crosshair maybe you will be starting with 20 25 and then make it full apply and close <coughs> sometimes you may see that you have some grid like this one but I don't prefer this one I normally I remove it because uh, it has a good way of working with AutoCAD so there's no need for grid <laughs> so Let's start. How we're gonna start? We'll do. We start with this uh, circle of uh, 45 radius, and then proceed with the circle of 27.5. Okay. Let's do a circle. This circle, center, center. Make it 45 radius. Uh, double click on your mouse wheel. Oh, we zoom it. Okay, so we need, we need to draw the other circle which is uh, 27.5. Click it, circle, select this reference to get this center 27.5. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is that we need to create a layer which layer will demonstrate, will uh, differentiate between the center lines and the measurement. So click here. And this is the normal layer, so we're gonna use this one. So how to create it? Just click this one, and then from there you got, you're gonna create the name. Also, example because we have our layers already. Sorry, example, and then we're gonna change color here. So you select your own color, so you pick it up. And then you're gonna select line with line type. There's a low ton of lines, and then you're gonna select. But in here we have everything. We just gonna delete this one because we don't need it. Just an example. So we continue this one. Sorry. Okay. So now we need to change the layer to center line because we need uh, some center line as you can see here. Uh, we have this center line, this center line, and this center line, this center line. So we're gonna do a center line, we take line, select the center, uh, make it uh, 60 because uh, the center line, uh, okay, make it say not 60, make it say 90, make sure. It is straight. Make sure to activate this polar tracking or also if you can make it so 90. I'm gonna say 90. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw another line, another line from here, another line from here. We say make it 60. Now the length has to be 60 and the angle has to be 60. Okay, oh, we are good to go then. So, what next? The next thing we're gonna do is uh, we need to, uh, to to also draw copy of it. So, we we'll copy this line copy from where, but we'll copy from here. We need to copy from here to no, we'll copy, we need to copy line, not circle. Copy and then we need to take from here and then take it to here. So we have made a complete center line. So, what we'll do now is we're gonna 
mirror this line. So I mirror it at which point? From this point to this point. Okay, we are good to go. Now we need to make some dimensions. Okay, we need to draw this this segment. So the dimension is eight. So we'll offset four and four on both sides, inner and outer. We need to offset. Click on. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, four, four. Okay, we'll offset it four here, and we'll offset it four here, and then enter. So let's change it. So I select this one and uh, this one and then change it to a uh, solid line. Okay, we need to trim something here. We need to trim this line between this line. No, we need to trim this line, this line, and uh, this line. So we need to trim this one, trim this one, trim this one, we trim this one. And then what we're gonna do with the mirror is the uh, mirror. We do array. So array. Mm -hmm. Array, we're gonna select this one and this one. We're gonna enter and we're gonna select polar. Polar array. We're gonna select center, okay, and then enter. So it's six. Okay, what next? We need to do some circle. You can see this this circle, this which is ten by uh, ten. The, uh, the one is ten, the other is eighteen. So you need to draw both the center, which is uh, the inner one, which is uh, ten, ten, and the outer, which is eighteen. From here. Okay, we need to mirror it. Uh, just mirror it. We need to mirror. What? Well, sorry. We need to to trim some things here. We need to trim something. We need to trim here. Trim. Trim. To trim here. Yeah. We need to mirror it. Mirror. Okay. So I did. This one. This one. And then mirror it. Mirror around this line. So he's mirrored. So you to draw some cycle here. So we will use the cycle with double tangent and radius. What is the radius? We need the radius of 17. Okay, we're good. So um, this one, this one, and 18. And, okay. So we need to trim it. Trim. Okay. We need to trim. some line here from from here to here I don't get it from here to here so we need to draw some line here at 45 so I need to draw some line at 45 we need to connect to this this line this line okay so we need to connect this intersection and also we need to also line which is perpendicular from here to here Perpendicular. 
I'll just say shift and then turn it. We can get turn it here. So it's roughly intersection here. Just copy this line, copy from this point, copy this line, copy, let's copy it. forward just to create a reference line a center line for it so let's click here click here somewhere here to get the center line of our circle and then draw a straight line here. okay let's mirror that So we are done. 
So this, what else? The other thing the remaining is just uh, to do some of the small thing, the uh, dimensions, the stick dimension. So the dimension is uh, like that. So I'll take the dimension. Okay. We start with the big cycles. Um, go to it. Uh, check dimension. Takes angle first. You hear the angle. You hear the angle from here to here. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Let's change this one. Turn this one. Okay, so we'll go to annotation. Uh, go to this extra menu. And then we pop in. So we need to change some dimension, make it standard. Oh, I saw. I saw it's, uh, it's enough. So let's make it a uh, dimension. Uh, this one. Take this. Take on this. And measure the dimension here. It's 30. And also measure the dimension down here. And here it's also 30. Okay. The other dimension we need. Uh, with the radius, uh, radius, we need some radius. Okay, we measure the radius of this one. Mm -hmm. We also measure the radius of this. We also measure the radius of this. So what else remaining? Yeah, I think we've measured everything. Okay, so that's it. Thank you and welcome again.